Welcome to Circle Time with Miss Monique. I am so glad that you're joining me today. Let's start with those singing voices. You ready? Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. I'm glad the night is over. I'm glad the day's begun. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. On Zoom, we get together. We sing and we have fun. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Thank you, friends. So we're learning about the ocean. That's the water all around us, okay? And we've talked about sea creatures living in the ocean. Well, today we're going to focus a little bit more on fish. Mm-hmm, fish that live in the ocean. I have a fish here. It's called an angel fish. An angel fish can come in many different colors. This one just happens to be yellow and orange. Angel fish, yeah. What do we see? What do we see on a fish? Hmm. A fish has a tail. A tail helps a fish to swim through the water. And he has fins on the top and on the bottom of his body. They help to keep him upright so he's swimming straight. Yes, and then fish have mouths, just like we have mouths. But you know what's different about a fish? Fish don't breathe air like we do. Nope, they're not mammals. They're fish. So they have what's called gills. Mm -hmm. Gills are on the side of their head and they funnel in the water and filter out oxygen. And the oxygen is what, they, what we breathe. That's the air that they breathe. That's how they get their oxygen. They filter it from the water. So a fish can't live outside of the water. If they're out of the water, they can't live. They have to stay in. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about fish that live in the ocean. The ocean water is different than other bodies of water. Um, ocean water is salty. It doesn't taste good. Like when you go to the beach and play in the sand and swim in the ocean, if you taste the water, it doesn't taste good. It's very salty. Um, compared to if you went swimming in a lake or a river or a stream or a pond, those are all bodies of water where the water is considered fresh water. It's, um, you could drink as a, as a person, you could drink, we drink fresh water, not salt water. But there are some fish that have to live in fresh water and some fish that have to live in ocean salty water. So the fish that I have with me here today are fish that would live in the ocean, the salty water. Some fish are called tropical fish and those fish are so beautiful. They come in many many different colors and sizes and if you live in a warm place you can see tropical fish in the ocean. You can wear what's called a snorkel. I wish I had my snorkel with me to show you. You have a mask and you put a tube in your mouth and it goes up and that tube is out of the water and your mask is in the water and it, you sound like this. You go <sighs> when you breathe and you're breathing the air because the tube is out of the water. <sighs> and when you look 
down into the water through your mask, you can see all of these beautiful tropical fish when you're snorkeling in the ocean. And you would snorkel in a place where the fish like to live, which is called like a coral reef. And I have some pictures here of some fish that you might see in the ocean if you went snorkeling. Okay, are you ready? Angelfish. Angelfish. Mm -hmm. Just like the one I showed you, but this one's different colors. This one's yellow and white and blue and black. It's a tropical fish. I have another. Lionfish. Wow. It has lots of spikes all around it. It's brown and orange and white. Lionfish. Hmm. What else do I have here? One of my favorites. Clownfish. Yep. It's just like the fish that was in that movie. Nemo. Mm -hmm. Clownfish. He's orange and white and black. So pretty. He's a tropical fish. Let's see here. Ooh, this, whoops, he's upside down. He is called a rainbow parrot fish. So beautiful. Look at those colors, pink and blue and green and one black fin. Rainbow parrot fish. He's also a tropical fish. Oh, this one's interesting. He's called a mandarin. Yeah, just like the oranges that we eat. Mandarin fish. Look at his expression. He kind of looks like a turtle in the face. And, and this one, he doesn't look very happy. I wonder if that's just how he looks. And maybe his, if he's feeling happy inside, he just doesn't look it. Mandarin fish. He's a tropical fish. Very pretty. And the last one I have for you today is called a green Cronus fish. He's kind of white and a little bit of green, just a touch. This fish likes to travel in a group. And when a group of fish travel together, it's called a school a fish. That's pretty neat, right? A school of fish. It's a group of fish traveling together. So I have a little poem that I want to share with you and it goes like this. One little angel fish, yellow, white, and blue. Along came his friend, a lionfish, and then there were two. One, two. Two little fish, both splashed in the sea. Along came a clownfish. And then there were three. One, two, three. Three little fish all raced near the shore. Along came parrot fish. And then there were four. One, two, three, four. Four little fish, all happy to swim and dive. Along came a mandarin fish. And then there were five. One, two, three, four, five little fish all swimming among the coral sticks. Along came a green chromis fish and then there were six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You did it. Thank you friends. Give yourself a brain kiss. I did it. Now remember, oh, oh wait, I have, I have something else. I almost forgot. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, six.
seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. So if you caught a fish alive, he's really wiggly. Yeah, he would just wiggle all around. You'd have to let him go. Okay, so we're going to do that again and catch a fish with me. Hang on tight and then we'll let him go. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. <laughs> I bet he's happy. Fish don't like to be caught. No. Now we're going to sing that song that we've been practicing. Okay. Let's see if we remember it a little more now that we've practiced it for a couple of days. Let me think of the tune. Got it? Here we go. No little fishy swimming in the sea, splishing and a splashing and a rocking to the beat. Everybody wave, cause don't you know, here comes an angel fish and away we go. One little fish, she's swimming in the sea, splishing and a splashing and a rocking to the beat. Everybody, oh wait, not everybody. Here comes another blue tang fish. Ooh, say hello to little fish, she's swimming in the sea. Two little fishy swimming in the sea, splishing and a splashing and a rocking to the beat. Here comes a clown fish. Ooh, say hello. Three little fishy swimming in a row. Three little fishy swimming in the sea, splishing and a splashing and a rocking to the beat. Here comes a sailfish, ooh, say hello. Four little fishy swimming in a row. Four little fishy swimming in the sea, splishing and a splashing and a rocking to the beat. Everybody wave, here comes a shark, ooh, say hello. Five little fishy swimming in a row. Five little fishy swimming in the sea, splishing and a splashing and a rocking to the beat. Everybody wave, cause don't you know these five little creatures have got to go. Bye, creatures. Who came to swim with us? Angel. Oh, wait, wait. We have to make sure we have five first, okay? Hold on. Here we do we have five? Let's check them. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we do. Now we can name them. Angelfish. Blue tang fish. Clownfish. Sailfish. And a shark. A shark is a different kind of a fish. He's still uh, in the fish family. Um, there's two fish here that we haven't seen before. We've talked about the angelfish, and we've talked about the clownfish, and we've talked about the shark. We know about sharks, all those big teeth. Yeah. But we haven't seen this one before. This one's called a blue tang. Yeah, he's really pretty. He's a tropical fish also. Yeah. And the other one is called a sailfish. A sailfish is a really big fish and they're very beautiful in the water. Mm -hmm. they, they, um, they like to jump out of the water and they're very beautiful and they're really big, like, like, like a shark big. That's how big. Yeah. Thank you, friends. We're still learning that song, but it's getting more and more fun every time. I really enjoy you joining in and singing with me, so thank you. Now it's time to discover what 
What's in the sound box? What's in the box? What's in the sound box? What's in the box? Hmm, what have we been talking about today? I wonder if that gave us a clue as to what sound might be hiding in here. This is the letter F. And the sound it makes is That's right. Is the first sound in the word fish. You did it, friends. Fish. Do you hear that? I do. Thank you. I knew you would. Thank you for today, friends. Thank you for today, friends. Thank you for today, friends. I hope you had fun. It's time for us to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. It's time for us to say goodbye. Our time is done. But before you go, I want you to always remember, you are smart. You are brave. You are beautiful. And most of all, you are loved. And while we have our hands on our hearts, let's send some wish you well wishes. You ready? We wish you well. We wish you well. All through the day today. We wish you well. Thank you, friends. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Goodbye.